Hi there! Welcome to WooClap, your easy-to-use interactive polling tool. WooClap is perfect for quizzing students during a class or getting feedback from participants during a training session or a meeting. I'm Jennifer from WooClap, and today I'm going to give you an in-depth training on how to get started with WooClap in three easy steps. Once you are logged into WooClap, you'll be on the events interface, your main back office diving board on WooClap. Click Create Event from the events interface and rename it to suit your session. If you like, you can customize the event code on the top right of the screen. I'm going to call this one Woo Training. Your changes are saved automatically when you click the check marks next to each of those fields. Now let's continue with the next steps to create your questions and launch your event. Create your first question by selecting from the sample gallery here or by clicking on new question up here. I'll select new question and then multiple choice. Type your question. For example, what year was WooClap founded? I'll put four different answers in the boxes below. I'm going to click the check box to the left of the correct answer. Now click save at the bottom of your screen. Now I'll show you how to display the event so that your participants can connect. On the event interface, you'll see that the very first item on the list says how to participate. Click on display over here to show the login instructions to your participants. They can join by scanning the QR code with their mobile device or by typing the event code directly into WooClap's website. Once all of your participants are connected to the event, you can click on the arrow button to the right hand side of the screen to display your first question. Your participants will see the question appear on their own screens and they can answer accordingly. Their answers will show up live on the screen and you can toggle the results display using the buttons on the left hand side of your screen. Once I'm ready to show the correct answer to the question, I can click on the checkbox right here. Once you've shown the correct answer to your participants, it will lock the voting so they can no longer respond to the question. And there you have it. Now you know how to use WooClap. Let me show you a couple of other handy features to make your events even more dynamic and engaging. The next thing we're going to do is add a presentation to our WooClap event. From the event interface, click on the Add Presentation button on the very top right. Upload your presentation file in the necessary field. This will take a second to load and then you'll see this additional menu appear on the right hand side of the screen. In order to add your questions directly into your presentation, you can click on the Insert Questions button over here. A short video will load automatically to show you how to do it just in case you forget. Then we'll see a preview of our slides appear with the WooClap questions we have created on the right hand side of the screen. The first WooClap question that should be inserted into the presentation is the how to participate slide, which contains the necessary information so that your participants can connect to your event. I'm just going to click and drag it over here. After that, you can insert your WooClap questions in the preferred order. Click Save at the bottom right of the window in order to save your changes. By default, WooClap events are anonymous. However, you can choose to ask your participants to log in or to enter a pseudonym if you like. You just have to toggle the authentication setting right over here which will allow them to log in with various accounts they might have, including a WooClap account. You also have the option of asking your participants to enter a username when they log in, which means that they won't actually be logged into WooClap, but they can submit a name. For example, I could put Jen as my nickname. If your institution has a custom license for WooClap, you can toggle the authentication setting so that your participants must be logged in in order to use WooClap. You can then allow them to log in either with their institutional account, a social login, or with SSO, also called single sign-on. After your event is finished, WooClap allows you to analyze the participation and answers received by reviewing a report on your event. With a basic, pro, or custom account, you can also export the results in either a PDF or Excel format. 
on the right hand side menu of your events interface, you can click report, second from the bottom. On the following page, you'll see various types of reports possible. A full report with your presentation slides and WooClap questions, including the answers that you received. A simplified report with only your questions and the answers you received. A report per participant, which can be sent to them by email if they're logged into their WooClap account. And lastly, a grid view, which can be downloaded as an Excel file used for grading. WooClap also allows you to quickly and easily generate an attendance sheet from your event. In order to do this, go back to the settings of your event and toggle attendance sheet. That way, when your participants log into the event, they'll be asked to either enter or confirm their name and last name and click submit. The attendance sheet will appear along with the reports menu that we've just looked at. And we go over it in more detail in another video. Have a look if you're curious. WooClap also offers a number of different integrations that can enhance your teaching or training experience. WooClap integrates with Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard Learn, Brightspace DTL, and Sakai, just to name a few. You can also weave your WooClap questions directly into PowerPoint with the WooClap add-on. Finally, WooClap can also integrate directly into your video call applications, such as Teams or Zoom. And there you have it. You're ready to use WooClap perfectly for your next presentation, class, or event. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon on WooClap.